So in today's video, I'm going to provide a summary of the Andrew Human Lab podcast, where he talks about the science behind weight loss and how you can use tools to help you lose weight. I found this podcast super interesting just because I didn't understand the science behind fat loss, and I didn't really understand how the body stores and then uses fat as energy. And so at the beginning of the year, I was helping my mum lose weight and she ended up losing nine kilos in about three months. And if we had known some of these tips and tricks, you potentially could have hit a goal of 10 kilos. And so I'm just trying to make this video as a bit of education for anyone out there. And in this video, I'm gonna just be talking about the science behind weight loss and the process, how our body uses and stores fat. And then I'm gonna provide some of the tools Andrew recommends to help you lose weight. So we all know the formula calories in versus calories out. A calorie is just a unit of energy so our body's using energy. If you're putting more energy in than what your body uses, that's gonna to lead to weight gain. If you're putting less energy in than your body uses, that's gonna to lead to weight loss. So we can control the calories in through food and drinks, but we can't always control the calories out because our body requires calories for all different functions like breathing, our heartbeats, walking, running, talking, sleeping, all these th things our body does require energy. But in this podcast, Andrew actually talks about the science behind calories out and how you can actually stimulate more calories out. And for our body to actually use fat, it has to go through a two-part process. This is where the fat is mobilized first. So this just basically means the fat is removed from where it's stored and then it's transported into the mitochondria of our cells and then it's used as energy. So the fat first is mobilized, it's moved away, then it's oxidized and it's used, used for energy. So if we understand this two-part process, we can actually target and help stimulate fat mobilization and fat oxidation. So how can we actually stimulate this two-part process and hack our way to increasing fat mobilization and fat oxidation. Well, Andrew actually talks about adrenaline can stimulate this two-part process. So doing things like cold showers will increase your shivering and those small micro movements lead to the stimulation of fat mobilization and fat oxidation. Another tool you can use is fidgeting. Fidgeting actually increases adrenaline as well which leads to this fat mobilization, fat oxidation. And it comes back to this small micro movements that people are doing when they're fidgeting or when they're having a cold shower and they're shivering. So this shivering actually stimulates the adrenaline release, which stimulates the fat mobilization and fat oxidation. So what's another tool we can use to lose weight? Well, we all know how important diet and exercise is towards losing weight. So diet actually focuses on what food you're putting within your body calories in part. And exercise focuses on calories out and making our body use more energy. So Andrew talks about in the literature only the thing that matters really for calories in is adherence. So most people might actually go on a diet but they're not actually consuming less calories. So what you want to be doing is consuming less calories and sticking to it. Adherence is the most important part for calories in. One key tip is just eating small portion sizes. We want to focus on reducing those calories we put into our body if you want to lose weight. You also want to have the foundations right. Getting enough sleep, getting enough salt in your diet, having essential fatty acids like omega-3 from your fish, and having a healthy gut microbiome. So eating fermented foods can help with that. So you want to have the foundation to where you start to implement these different tools. Otherwise your body's gonna be irregulated. So the exercise portion, focusing on calories out, you can actually exercise faster. And so the reason why this is, is because when we exercise, our body uses carbohydrates stored within our muscles. And when we can deplete that by being fasted, it'll then switch to using fat as our energy source. So if you eat before you exercise, your body will have an increased amount of carbohydrates it can use to fuel the muscles within our body. If you're fasted and you don't have that extra fuel source or carb source for your body to use, 
then it's going to have to rely on the fat source, the stored fat in our body quicker. And so if you go into exercise fasted and then you do a high intensity exercise, your muscles are going to run out of that stored carbohydrates quicker. Then your body's going to switch to using fats as its energy source. And then after you've done that, do low intensity exercise because low intensity exercise predominantly uses fat anyway. So then you're going and using up that stored carbohydrates and you're using fat and then you keep using that fat throughout the low intensity exercise. Now I hope you found the science behind fat loss interesting and you know how you can target the fat oxidation and fat mobilization stage of weight loss and fat utilization within our body. And I hope you use these diet and exercise tools to benefit you to stay healthy and lose weight if you need to. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoy watching it and I'll see you again in the next video.